please. Not at the breakfast table. How many times must I tell you aliens to use the toilet? <laughs> oh, it's no use. Oh, it's wedged tight. I'm going to need some help. Give us a hand, Brian. Oh, can't get the top of this jar of pickled onions. Ah. Mm. You were supposed to get the top off, not swallow the contents. Enjoy. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Look at my inner pants. What colour do you call this? Um, is it flamingo pink? Oh, is it maybe a seductive red? What do you think, girls? It's supposed to be white. Stop washing him with red clothes. Sophie, Josh is right. His pants need to be washed separately. Thank you, Mel. At least someone understands me. Because, frankly, they're a health hazard and I don't want them anywhere near my clothes. Oh, second. What's wrong with pink? It's a lovely colour. On a girl, yes, but on a boy it's a homing beacon for bullies. What's all the fuss? They're underpants. No one sees them anyway. Well, apart from that time in a supermarket. No one's supposed to see them. Your girls, what do you know? If there was another male in the house, you wouldn't understand. Hey, what about me? I'm a male, aren't I? You're a Voluxian pretending to be a man. It's not the same thing. I'm not pretending. I love doing manly things, like knitting and skipping and styling my hair. Brian, as far as I'm concerned, you're one of the girls. You've ruined the door. No, Josh, I fixed it. It's what men do. They fix things. I looked it up on the internet. <laughs> I'm a big, strong man, and I've got the tool belt to prove it. You should feel the leather. It's unbelievably soft. Right. I don't want to feel your tool belt, and I want you to put the chainsaw down before you hurt yourself, or more importantly, me. But I thought this is what you wanted. A man about the house. Someone to do guy stuff with. Yes, but proper guy stuff. Like quad biking and paragliding and... Hunting? Yes. In the woods? Yes. For our teddy bears. And when we find them, we can have a picnic. And we can take our dolls, too. Oh, oh, then we can pay dinner, ladies. That's not guy stuff, that's girl stuff. Why don't you just go back to your knitting and we'll forget the whole thing? But I've cancelled my subscription to knitting for boys. OK, that's a start. Maybe there's hope for you yet. And I'm now the proud subscriber of... Knitting for men. No, 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 no. You just don't get it. This stuff is poisoning your mind. If you want to be a real man, you should be reading what I read about strong guys like Superman, Batman and the Hulk. Superman? He's a superhero. He fights for truth and justice, good against evil. He's a role model for boys all around the world. He doesn't knit. Thank you, Josh. From now on, these will be my guidebooks to manliness. OK, but not these ones. They're rare first editions that belong to my dad, worth a lot of money. Try this. Oh, Gadget Girl, this is more like it. <gasps> does she keep her hair looking so lustrous when she's punching like that? I give up. If only Lucy had been a boy. A brother wouldn't understand. These superheroes are brilliant. What's a superhero? Well, they have ripping muscles, firm jaws, and tights with underpants on the outside. I'm surprised that hasn't caught on. <laughs> Superheroes are highly developed beings, often from another planet, who use their special powers to fight the forces of evil in the battle for truth and justice for all. Except the Silver Surfer, he's just weird. But I'm from another planet, and I have special powers. Sophie, you know what this means? I'm a superhero! I'm Super Brian! Yeah, but don't you also have to be a highly developed being? Two out of three is good enough for me. <laughs> Super Brian will use his morphing powers in the fight for truth, justice and ice cream for all. I'm going to need a sidekick. Someone to help me with my quest. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me! Of course. Josh can be my sidekick. <laughs> I'm from another planet. I've got special powers. You don't understand, do you, Sophie? Um, no, no, you don't. No, 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 no. There's a whole male bonding thing that goes with the role. Me and Josh will be like Batman and Robin. We'll hang out in the Brian cave and we'll cruise in the Brian mobile, showing off the rippling muscles in our tights. I can do that. No, you can't, Sophie. You don't have any muscles. You couldn't even take the top off a jar of pickled onions. You're just not sidekick material. <gasps> a fire engine. Super Brian to the rescue. Do you mind? Oh, sorry.
I want you to squeeze my muscles and tell me what you think. <laughs> Brian says I'm useless because I'm just a weak girl. He's only saying you're weak to make you feel insecure. It says so here in the six signs of a bully boyfriend. That's right. I am weak. Oh, I couldn't even get the top off a jar of pickled onions. Why don't we go to the gym together? I need to start working out if I'm going to make it onto the NASA training program. It says so here in How to Be an Astronaut and 84 Easy Steps. I'm sorry, who is Jim? And how can he help us? Not Jim, a Jim. It's where you go if you want to see boys in tight clothes and showing off. I mean, you'll be surrounded by nothing but rippling muscles as they pump on until their well home bodies are glistening with sweat. Anyway, if that is what you really want, then I suppose I'd better go with you to keep you company. <laughs> Obviously. Well, this is great. We can all go to the gym together and get super fit. Oh, I don't need Brian. I can start my own gang, a girl gang. Sophie's Angels. Dedicated to the fight for truth, justice and lip gloss for all. Maybe we should start with a few push-ups and see where that takes us. OK. <laughs> You must be Josh. I'm CJ. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, CJ. Super Brian has told me all about you. Super Brian? He saved me from being run over by a bus, and now he's getting me some ice cream. What a superhero. OK, you stay right here. I'll be right back. And don't touch anything. Right, because I might touch the switch that opens the secret door to the Brian Cave. The Brian Cave. <laughs> Brother. What do you think you're doing? You think four scoops is too much? You're an alien hiding away from the world. You're supposed to be keeping a low profile. How is this a low profile? Josh, I'm not an alien. I'm a superhero. And what's so unusual about that? There's loads of superheroes and humans love us. They're not real. Superheroes don't exist. They're made up characters in comic books. Oh, oh really? And I suppose you're going to tell me that Spider-Man isn't a real person. He works as a photographer on the local paper. Don't you know anything? <laughs> I want you to stop being super Brian right now. And I want you to go in there and get rid of that kid. But I thought this is what you wanted. You and me doing superhero guy stuff together. I made you a costume and everything. I wanted someone on my side so I wouldn't be outnumbered by the girls all the time. How did you dressing in tights help me? But they're a soft silk finish. Perfect for doing this and this. <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't want you to be my sidekick anyway. I found someone much better. Don't make me laugh. Who's crazy enough to... Oh, no, Brian, no! <laughs>